Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel, Par Doshi, Learning by Doing. So now I'm going to start a new series of video in which we are going to learn coding. Now, we are not going to follow the traditional approach that we have by understanding what is main, what is void, class and all that. But this particular series of videos are intended towards help you understand the coding concepts behind the UI path activities and along with that, also learn the c -sharp programming language. So all the videos that will be there in this series, in that we'll be learning the c -sharp programming language by decoding UI path activities. For example, this is not what we are do going to do in this video, but I'm just giving you an example of what we'll be seeing in the further videos. Now we have the read range activity in which we give the Excel file path and it is converted into a data table. Now, obviously it is built on the c -sharp programming language and it is available in UI path. So now what is that backend logic behind that activity? So we are going to basically decode all the UI path activities that we have as much as will be possible. And we are going to learn the c -sharp programming language for which we'll be using Visual Studio. So you can download any version, 2015, 17 or 19. You can simply download the community version I'm going to use Visual Studio 2019. So let me tell you what we are going to see in this episode one. In this episode one, we are going to decode the clipboard activities. So as we all know, there are two clipboard activities in UiPath. The first one is set clipboard, like set clipboard text that we can set the text to our clipboard and the other one is get. So we are going to write that logic in the C sharp so this will help you not only learn the programming language, but also if there are error comings in your activity, then what could be the reason behind that? So let's get started. I hope this sounds interesting and you will be able to learn coding and programming in a different way. So I've just simply created a console application. Okay. Now in that first, what you need to do is you need to go to references, right? Right click references click on add reference. This is what we require to work with clipboards in C sharp. So you need to install this particular name, uh, this particular reference, like we install manage packages, we install different packages here. You need to install that. So you need to search for system dot windows dot forms. So just simply install that and you will be later. We'll see how and what we are using it, right? Now, as you all know, like as we normally know, we have a main function always in our C sharp, right? Programming languages or whatever we write. This is the main thing that we always have. And this is my class. So in this main, I'm calling two functions. If you see set clipboard text and glad clipboard text. So we'll come later to this part, but first let's write the function of get clipboard text. Okay. So I've written a function of get clipboard text in that what I'm doing now public string glad clipboard text. Now why it is public string since it is string, we will have to return a value at the end of this function, which will be of type string. So I've created one variable within this functions that is string output. Now there is one important thing. If I'm trying to get something from the clipboard, I will have to first check whether the data is available or not. If the data is not, av not available, then I'm going to display no data found. But if it is available, then I'm going to return the data. So what we are doing is we are going to use this clipboard. Now, if you see, I have written this namespace over here using system.windows.form. Within this comes the clipboard function or method, you can say. So clipboard has different, you know, functions contents audio contains data text get data get image and there are multiple things but for now we are only going to work with text since that is also available in ui path so i'm doing clipboard dot contents text and in the bracket in the parameters i have to pass if you see over here text data format and contains text so i'm providing the text data format that will be there that is text so if it is, if the text is available, I'm assigning my output variable, that particular text and that I'm doing using clipboard dot get text method. As I showed, there are multiple methods available over here. 
right so i'm doing clipboard dot get text and this is very simple you see there is no advanced programming involved within this i'm just trying to explain how you can write the c sharp code build the c sharp uh, reusable functions and make your more code more easy to understandable right and let's say if the data is not present then what we are going to return we are simply going to return output is equals to no data form so this is what we are doing in our glad clipboard text functions first we are checking whether the data is available or not if it is available then we are assigning that if not we'll return no data form so if you see it's been hardly three to four minutes and we have successfully written the c sharp logic for one of the activity that we have in ui path that is the glad clipboard text so i hope this is very simple and it is helping you understand the programming language along with that you are learning something new as well which is aligned to ui path and your role as an rpa developer now in said clipboard text we obviously need the data if even if you see the ui path activity we have to pass and data that you need to set to your clipboard so in the parameters we are going to pass string message now here also if you see here there is boolean boolean means in set we don't want to know what we are assigning and all that we already know that since we are going to pass it but i need to know whether the text was successfully copied to the clipboard or not so in that case what i'm going to do is first i'm going to check whether my message variable is empty or not if it is empty then i'm going to return false that means the the clipboard text was not set since there was no data else i'm going to use the method set text that is clipboard dot set text and i'm going to assign i'm going to set the message and i'm going to return true now again this was also very simple and we successfully built our complete second function as well that is public bool said clipboard text and in the parameters we have string message i hope this was easy to understand and very much simple right so let me minimize that now let's come to our main function i created an object of my main class that is program and i am always clearing the clipboard to remove any previous data that is also available as a method of this so if you see clear now we are creating two variables one is set result which is going to be in boolean and get result like what is the text been copied to that now i am going to put the text hey this is set clipboard text function okay so now we have successfully assigned the value so our bool set result that is our set result should be true and in get result we should get this about text so i am just calling the functions here we need to pass the parameter here we don't so let's execute it and see the output okay okay so we were about to execute the code i had to restart my system because of some error okay now let's execute it so if you see the result is true and the get result output is hey this is set clipboard text function so you see we are getting perfectly both the output that we expected right now let me close it so the execution is stopped and let me replace this with so we are just now testing the functionalities that we have added now this is a null string as we can see right let me close this and close this so now we should get false and no data found false and no data found so this was our another condition that we had added so i hope you successfully understood some beginner coding concepts of c sharp and this video helped you get a kick start to learn coding in c sharp in this we will be building multiple logics of different activities that we see in ui path so we get a clear understanding of both of them the ui path activities as well how they work and how we write the code in visual studio so thank you so much for watching the complete video and please do share in comments that 
what is your feedback about such videos and what would you like to see more in terms of understanding the coding language of different ui path activities i'll try to make the videos on as much as activities i can thank you so much for watching the video please do hit the subscribe button and like and share the video